Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you how you can create your own Docker image and run a custom script in it. To achieve this we will first go ahead and create a Docker file. Then we will go ahead and build our image. And then we will run our container and will execute the script. In this short demo I will be using a Python script. So here I am uh, on my Ubuntu 21.04 instance. I'm running it on VirtualBox. Um, I have Docker installed. If you're not familiar how to install Docker on Ubuntu, you can watch one of my previous videos where I'm explaining how to install Docker on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, the same instructions do also work for Ubuntu 21.04. So, if you're not familiar with it, um, you can go ahead and watch that video and install Docker. If you have Docker installed, we can go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a custom script that we want to execute. Um, in my case, I will be using uh, Python, so um, I will write a Python script. However, if you want to use any other language, you can do that. Just uh, be aware that when you are creating your Docker container that you will need to install the appropriate runtimes so that you can execute your script. So what we want to do first is create our script that we want to execute. And um, let's go ahead and do that. I will call mine just simply uh, test.py. Let's open this up. I'm creating a function called test me nothing fancy and all we do want to hear is print just uh, test is running no this will not work I'm going to put a quote here good and let's do this Okay, and that's all we want. Um, we don't need anything else. Very straightforward and simple. Let me exit out of here and we can actually run a quick test um, if our script is good. So we'll just run a, in my case, Pyth Python 3, test.py. Let's run this, test is running, fantastic. This works great. So we have our test script and now let's move on to creating our Docker file. Okay, so now we can go ahead and create our Docker file. And I will be using Alpine latest image. Then we want to run an APK update, update the repositories. Then we want to install Python 3 and pi3 pip. The next thing we need to do is we need to copy our script into the container for our example here. So we do a copy and we tell it to use test.py and we want to move that into app test.py. However, we haven't created uh, the directory app yet. So we will do a run make dear app and lastly we need to add an entry point an entry pony haha <laughs> uh, uh, entry point and our entry point will be python 3 and we want to run our test.py um, this will not work just yet, just because we want to define our work directory and we'll define it as app. So to work top from bottom um, to bottom, so we're building from the Alpine latest image, which will be pulled from Docker Hub. Um, then we run a command and the command is the apk update. Then we run the command to apk add, um, install for lack of better terms, 
Python 3 and Python 3 or Py3 pip. Then we create a new directory app. And then we copy our test.py um, script into the app test.py. Then we define our work directory app and then we tell it when the container started, meaning that's the entry point, um, run Python 3 and execute the script. The work directory is pretty much um, just defining, in this case, at what point to start the container in what directory. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and save this. And now we can build our image. To build our image, we will go ahead and run a docker build dot current directory. Um, we need to point to the directory where our docker file is that contains the instructions to build our image. And then we pass in a dash t flag, and that is the name and the tag of our uh, image. I will call the image python test and we're doing version 1.0.0 and let's run this it's installing our dependencies that we have defined and once that is done okay so it created successfully our image and it tagged it so what we can do now is we can do a docker images and we can take a look and here we see our Python test image has been created. Don't be surprised, it did pull down uh, the Alpine image as well. And that is because we built our Python test off of this image. So it needed to pull that image down as well. Now we can see if our Docker container actually runs. So we just do a Docker run. Python test. And we want to run 1.0.0 and test is running and we just created a docker image we passed in a custom script and we ran it um, and that's all that i wanted to show in this quick video i hope you find it helpful um, if you want to read more about uh, building docker images um, head on over to docker.com or uh, docker docs and um, everything will be explained there in greater detail. Um, this was just intended to be a starting point to maybe uh, get the feel for it and, and get you into the groove. Well, I appreciate um, your time and your watching and uh, hope to see you in your next video. Thank you.